Okay folks, so we're back at Harry's Fishery again today. Uh, I've got a couple of things to try. I've got both rods set up on Ronnie Riggs. Uh, I've got some new wafters to try. Just got set up, I'm having a brew. Uh, also, I've just bought a deeper, so I'm going to try out that as well. See what that's like. Fishing one rod over here, next is fire tree, and then the other one straight out. There's genuinely nothing better than this. Sat under a shelter, it's hammering it down, you're fishing, you've got a brew. Nice and warm. I've got my winter gear on. Getting loads of bleeps on that rod. I think they're obviously feeding about in that margin. They've just not picked up on the hook bit yet. Don't want to put too much pressure on it with all them up pulls that I've had.
but I'll be shocked if this is a couple of pounds. Nice course, do that. Come around here with it. It's got an orange tint to it, hasn't it? Yeah, now it's cool. Cool. Well, it's got some nice colour there. A little bit of koi in it, do you think? Yeah, I think it has. It's a bit of a lovely colour. Thought well for the size of it. I might put some. Um, I might put some of that stuff on that cut of it. It's got. Let's get ready. I feel small. Well, I didn't get that footage because my GoPro's playing up and the batteries are low, I didn't charge them. But just a nice barbel there on the pineapple wafter on the Ronnie rig. Chunky. Let's get it back. Fishing with my Gray's Prodigy PB rods today. It's probably a bit overkill for this lake, but um, the two and a quarter test. There's apparently carp to 18 pound in here. I think the biggest we've caught is about 12, so but so it's a little bit overkill. I just couldn't be bothered swapping my uh, uh, rods out. They're still set up from uh, when we went to Brookside, which is a bigger fish water. Just get no, you're doing it too quick, I think. That's it. Get get a tight line to it. It's connected there, right? Is that that drop? Oh, fish. I've got it set to medium as well, so they're, they're a decent fish. So it's on a narrow beam, fish size, large. Oh no, none of them are big. So it's coming. It's coming shallower, eh? isn't it? It's actually getting deeper. 
There, look at that. There's one coming in. Matt. Yeah, two foot. Is that two meters? I don't know, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, two meters. Water temperature is 16 degrees. That's quite well, isn't it? Sure. There's fish there. There's a fish there, just in. In that there's dip. A, so there's a drop off here. So yeah, so that that drop off, where was that? That was about two rod lengths out. Two, three. The, so they're, they're right close in, aren't they? Just off, just off end of your rod tip here. Yeah. So they're on the surface there. So they're higher up in the water here. Yeah. You could set your zig one and a half meters up, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So uh, they were on the bottom in that hole. Yeah. But over here, they're, they're up in the water, aren't they? So try and cast down that um, towards the tree, really? best, best you can, yeah. <laughs> straight, straight, straight up platform, smash it up. <laughs> Um, yeah, but more towards, more towards this tree in front of us. Where? Towards this tree. Oh. Keep there. <laughs> It's 30 pound bread, you know, and it did not break it. It's quality, Dad. That reel was 25 quid with the braid on it. I wouldn't have a dream of it, thank you. Right. Yeah, you hold the thing. Let me, let me have a cast. Right, so I want it more. I want to see more central. Are we on? There's a lot of fish there. Yeah, there is. There is. On the bottom as well. Look at all that. All that yellow there. I think it's small fish moving about. Ah, right. That's your fish. Uh, there's that, that there's them snags that? and weed. Yeah, yeah. I think that is that lighter bottom, hard bottom as well. Yeah, I think the the, the thicker that band is, the more soft or silty the bottom is in it. Is that a drop off coming? Yeah. It starts dropping off. Yeah, there. And then I take it this is where you are now, isn't it? It's really dropped off there. Yeah. Satellite, so it's just yeah, so if you stop there, that'll keep. So it's two rod lengths out, isn't it? Uh, That's what I mean. So you could have, you could leave that there. there. So you could leave that there, Dad, and you could spawn to it if you wanted to. But oh, you, you want to map out your swim? Are you fishing into that corner as well? It's probably lost it. There you go, we're on there. 
That's what I was waiting. There you go. Oh, loads, oh, loads of fish in that corner, Dad. Are you up in the water, though? <laughs> Dad, you want to be fishing there? Look at them all. <laughs> That's literally just there. And it's only a metre deep. They drop down for it. Mm. Yeah, that's where you want to be, innit? Have you got one rod there? Yeah, and further over you have to make it leave. I'll come a bit nearer this way and then come a bit further out. Hold on. <laughs> that's cracky, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's that like, so handy. I've got something to really press with it. I didn't think it would work so well. Uh, my dad's literally just cast where we saw them fish on the deeper and he's literally straight in It's the first fish he's had today that so it does work So you literally what you did you just you just flicked it out to where you saw them fish on the deeper <laughs> Well GoPro's just died so I've got a bit of a temporary setup. I've just set my camera up Hopefully get a bit of footage. Looks alright. There we go. Quite hard here, they're only considering the size of them. It's not a bad one, this. Just do it. Show us a quick video. Bit of a scruffy mum. Fins are messed up. This is the mix that I've been using today for bait. Loads of different particles. I usually put this in PVA bags, but I'm not fishing far out, so I've just been throwing it in. So there's hemp seed, there's tiger nuts,
got all sorts in there. And then over the top, I'm just using a runny rig. With these pineapple wafters. Slightly bigger than the other two. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so obviously I've just lost that fish. Um, I did see it. It was a. It was a mirror. It was a couple of pounds, two, three pounds, something like that. Uh, I had a look at the hook, the hook was slightly blunted, so I've just put a new hook on, uh, a new rig. Uh, so I'm going to get it baited up and get it back out into the spot. And we'll take it from there. I've just moved the left hand rod, I've just put it just under the rod tip. Um, and refed with some particles, so we'll see what happens with that. A bit gutted about losing that fish, I'm not going to lie. The fishing definitely hasn't been as full on here um, this year for some reason. Last year it was literally a bite of chuck, so I don't know what's going on. I do think they put some barbel in, so whether they've done some restocking, you know, or took some fish out, I'm not sure. There's only three people on this lake today, so it's a really quiet water. To be fair, not many people know about it, like I said in previous videos. Um, it's right in the middle of a village called Adelington. This is in Lancashire. Apparently, apparently, uh, the camp got to 18 pound in here, and that's somebody who weighed one of 18 pound, but. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. It was interesting, obviously, we just got that uh, deeper sonar. Um, it is interesting mapping out the bottom of the water, especially it's a water that you've fished a lot and you've not a clue really um, on a commercial fishery like this what the bottom's like. You've got a big dip that goes out here and then it comes back up and it goes really shallow all the way to nearly or near enough the middle and then there's a big hole in the middle of the lake here. Apparently used to uh, be a lot smaller this lake and he's extended it so that makes sense that there's a big deep pit and then comes shallow and then it kind of dips down into a well coming into the margins. There's a lot of fish in the margins. There's fish in the margins here and then there's fish uh, towards uh, the middle of the lake. But there's, there's bubbling, there's feeding all over the lake so we are active, we are getting bites, so just not as full on as it normally is. Hopefully get a couple more fish for you. I'll tell you what, he might not always catch the biggest, but he always catches the most. Look at this. Hey, it's a decent gudgeon that, Dad. Oh, <laughs> He's not even focusing in on it, it's that small. <laughs> gudgeon. Can't believe it. Is that wafter even fit in its mouth? No. Not even close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's one for the, another species list for today. That, that was a big good one, that one you got it over. Yeah, it was. That was a proper one, that. That was on a 10 mil as well.
<laughs> Good gym fishing up method. Come on. Be nice to have another couple of fish before we pack up. I'm sorry if the camera seems dark, it's uh, obviously you're in the Broly shelter here, so. got this bobbing really slack on this left hand side because I'm fishing literally right under the rod tip there so obviously the drag's really low so if it bolts off it's not going to uh, drag the rod in. So I keep losing fish because of uh, messing about with the camera, but I think that's the way it goes. Uh, I'm not getting the tension on quick enough and obviously by the time I've got to it, um, the fish has slipped the hook. But all these fish have come, you know, from the margins, like a foot out from the reeds. Nice little um, F1. You can tell it's an F1 and not a common carp by this lateral line and also there's no barbels. No barbules. Let's get it back. Hook fell out in the net.
Another good gin, Dad. <laughs> oh. Brought you. Oh, it's come out. It's a better common than your others, isn't it? Edge. Yeah, right in the margin. Yeah. yeah, I think that's where they are. My knee that run that I just had was, a, you know, on that shelf. Oh yeah. They're lively, aren't they? Oh, it's taking you off the dad, eh? To put another one on. Yeah, just, just off that platform. Off the other pl platform over there. I'm just going to flick it down the edge. Set it back on the rod pod. Put one of his uh, milk bottle bobbins on. Has it, has it come undone? <laughs> has it come undone? <laughs> quality. Absolute quality. <laughs> they come, they're coming undone. I think only because I've never tapped them. Alright. Are you putting this one down, Margin? It you can see him knocking reeds here, Dad. There, Luke. Can you see it? 
you want to be fishing just off off this reed bed here. Just off that out, little outcrop of them. Yeah, perfect. 